In this video, you will learn how to create a four quadrant matrix chart in Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see here I have generated this four quadrant chart using this set of data. It is the data about effect of nitrogen on yield. First column shows the location. Second column shows the soil nitrogen percentage. And third column shows the yield in kg. So let's learn how to generate this quadrant chart in Microsoft Excel. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, I will generate a scatter plot. Select first two columns. Go to insert tab. And here you will find the option of scatter plot under charts. Select this one. And from here, I will choose scatter without lines. You can also resize it. After doing that, click on this chart. And here you will find the option of plus sign. Click on chart element option. You will find variety of option. From here, I will choose axis title. And I will deselect grid lines because I don't want these grid lines. After doing that, click on chart title to edit it. Put equal sign in formula bar. Select the cell which contains title and press enter. Go to home tab and from here you can adjust it font style and font size black color bold and 16 similarly edit the axis titles select this one put equal sign in formula bar select the cell which contain title press enter you can also manually edit the title select this one again click here and remove the existing data Edit the title. Now again click on this and adjust the font size. Copy this format using Format Mentor option and apply it on here. Similarly, select these values. Right click, go to Format Axis option. From here, select the units measure 2 instead of 1 because these values are densely packed. Click on Minor. Go to Fill and Line option. From here, I will choose solid line scroll down here you will find the option of color black color is already selected and from here i will choose width 1.5 pt go to axis option and i want to insert tick marks select this one scroll down Major type tick marks on outside and minor type on outside. Similarly, select X axis and repeat this procedure. Go to fill and line option, solid line, black color and 1.5 pt width. Go to axis option to insert tick marks. Scroll down. Here you will find the option of tick marks, major type outside minor type outside i will close this one now select vertical axis values and adjust the font size and style copy this format using format printer option and apply it on x axis values click here Click on plot area, go to format and here you will find the option of shape outline. Click here. From here I will choose black color. Again go to shape outline option. Here is the option of weight. From here I will select one and half pt. Now I am interested to divide this plot area into quadrant. For that purpose I need extra data series. I will write extra data. x-axis 
and y axis in x axis choose the middle value of x axis currently you can see here the x axis values are from 0 to 10 and the middle value of x axis is 5 similarly the values of y axis are 0 to 10 and the middle value is 5 so i will write 5 here after that click on plot area right click here you will find the option of select data choose this one in legend entries you will find the option of add click here in series name select extra data click on series x values and choose x axis values which is 5 similarly in series y values click here remove existing data and select the y axis value which is 5 after that click on ok again click on ok now you can see here microsoft excel has plotted this data series select this one go to chart design option here you will find the option of add chart element click here from here go to error bar option and from here you will find the option of more error bar option choose this one from here interaction select both and style no cap scroll down and here you will find the option of percentage change percentage value to 100 percent now again go to error bar option click on this arrow sign currently you can see here it has selected series extra data y error bar now choose extra error bar option and repeat this procedure both and style no cap select percentage 100 percent After doing that, click on fill and line option. From here, you will find the option of line, select solid line, choose black color and width 1.5 pt. Similarly, select other line and from here choose solid line, black color and 1.5 pt width. Now you can see here we have inserted lines but quadrants are not generated accurately. For that purpose I have to adjust the maximum value because maximum value is increased to 12 instead of 10. Select y axis values, right click, go to format axis option. From here I will choose 10 instead of 10. Similarly click on x axis values and from here I will choose 10. close this one now i want to get rid of this marker click on this marker place your cursor on this marker right click go to format data series option from here go to fill and line option choose the marker option and from here i will select no fill and in border select no line and close this one now you can see here the marker is disappeared. Now click on these markers. Now you can see here all data is selected. Place your cursor on any marker and right click. You will find the option of format data series. Choose this one. Go to fill and line option. From here select marker options. From here I will choose build in. You can change the type of marker. And you can adjust the size of marker. Here is the option of marker shape fill and border of marker. I will not change it. After doing that click on any marker. You can see here all markers are selected. Go to chat element option. From here. I will choose data labels because I am interested to insert data labels. 
now click anywhere here click on these data labels all data labels will be selected place your cursor on any data label right click and here you will find the option of format data labels from here you will find the option of values from cell select this one it will ask data label range select the first column without heading click on ok now i don't want y-axis value i will deselect this one and i also don't want show ladder lines so i will also deselect this one if i scroll down you will find the option of label position you can set the label position using this option i will choose right close this one after selecting data labels go to home tab and here you will find the option of font you can adjust the font so by doing so you can easily generate quadrant chart in microsoft excel currently you can see here we have successfully generated the quadrant chart in microsoft excel that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye